the people station. This is V103. We're streaming live. V-103.com. Uh, Raindrop Lopez. Left Eye's sister, more affectionately known as the First Lady of Hip Rock, is up here talking to us, representing a Left Eye's family. I did tell him we're streaming. Leave me alone, Johnny. <laughs> uh, we have so many questions coming over for you. I'm going to get to those in a minute. But let's talk about your family being stonewalled out of the production of the Crazy Sexy Cool biopic. How does that happen? Don't they have a say in how Left Eye is portrayed? Uh, no, evidently we don't have a say, you know, they came to us and got us to sign off on using her likeness and that was pretty much it. You Are know? you guys at least getting some compensation off of the proceeds? I would imagine, I would imagine we are. You would imagine? <laughs> like, wouldn't mind though? Would... I mean, it seems like we would be, you know. So you just don't know yet? I'm pretty sure we are. I'm, I'm not sure what you're saying. <laughs> I, I think we are. That's what I'm saying. Okay, look, we have some questions coming over Twitter. Franco Malley says, have T-Boz and Chili reached out to you guys at all since the movie? No. During the course of writing the movie? No. Before the movie? No. Is, is your family upset with them? I mean, what what's that relationship like? Is there a relationship? You know what? It's It's more than being upset. It's more like kind of disappointed you know um hurt it's just awkward you know having a movie done and your sister is you know one of the people that they're portraying and doing the movie about and to not even be invited to even sit and watch them tape or say you know what that left eye would have done that but she wouldn't have done this right yeah here. that's like her but how did you feel about little mama playing your sister you know what when i first heard and you know to me, I think it would have been, you know, very nice to know who was playing Lisa before the entire world. You know, I found out, we found out online from the fans on, um, I think, Instagram or Twitter. Wow. And you when found I found out, out from the fans who would play your sister. That's how we find movie. everything out from the fans. Goodness. That's okay. why I love the fans. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I didn't know what to think because, you know, I know Little Mama as a rapper. I don't know her as an actress. So I didn't know what to think. So I was able to go up to the set one time and it's only because one of my friends was an extra. That's how I found out they were filming. So I went up there with her and I was able to see little mama playing huh. um, Lisa in one of the scenes and she actually was doing a good job. She did a good job. And yeah. I was surprised I, and I was I was happy. Not for nothing. That movie was good. I mean, I, I yeah. understand that you guys are, you know, you, yeah. you have feelings about um, how Left Eye was portrayed. I was wondering why your mom wasn't really portrayed more because we got to see Chili's mom and we really got to see t Rise's mom. Why was your and mom an active part thing. Of, um, of the group? Yeah, and you know, I guess a lot of people don't know that, you know, Lisa moved her entire family, me and my mom and my brother from Philly to Atlanta right after she signed with TLC. You know, I've heard, you know, fans saying, well, why do they think they should be involved? They were involved in her career. I'm like, yeah, we were. We were there the whole time. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't that deep? So, in retrospect, you watched the movie. I think it's good that you you thought Lil Mama did a good job and yeah. you actually liked the movie. You just didn't like um, the full story of how your sister was portrayed. Yeah, I didn't. It's an enjoyable movie, but it's just not accurate. And if you're going to, you know, do a biopic, that's the whole point in doing a biopic. People want to know what really happened. What should have been in the movie that we don't know? Wow, that's <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. I mean, just showing how, you know, with the first album, you know, um, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, you know, Lisa was behind all of that. The clothes, the condoms on the eyes. I mean, you know. It was her baby. Her, yeah, it was like her... Yeah, the vision, her, you know, creation of, you know, how they looked and stuff like that. You know, that was mainly Lisa, you know, even with the fan mail. You know, that was Lisa's thing to put all the fans' names on the album. Lisa designed their stage for the tour. You know, creative stuff like that, like, they didn't touch on at all in the movie. Did you ever meet Pebbles? Yes, I met Pebbles before. What did your sister really think about Pebbles? Did she feel the way the other girls felt? You know what? I don't think she felt the same way. I don't know exactly how she felt, but I don't think she felt the same way. I think... I don't know. I think Lisa and Pebbles may have been a little closer at the end. You know, I guess when, you know, um, Lisa was finding out more things. Has she reached out to the family at all? Uh, yes, I actually talked to Pebbles a couple of days ago. Wow. Um, hmm. And Crystal, she was the, the the original third member of the group. What do yes. you remember about that? I know you were young. What do you remember? Could she sing? The only thing <laughs> I remember is she can sing. I was just told that she didn't attend all the rehearsals and she just didn't work as hard as Tiana and Chili. I mean, as um, Lisa and Tian. 
Okay. So, um, if, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Raindrop Lopez. She's Left Eye's little sister here representing the family. We are streaming live at v-103.com. Uh, now, I, I just found out you were in the vehicle when your sister passed away. You were there for the whole thing. Yeah. Um, from beginning to end. And I know this is probably an awkward. And so, so if you don't feel comfortable, that's fine. But if you do, what do you remember? About, what happened that day? What went wrong? Um, yeah, I don't really want to talk about that, but yeah, I was there and I was in an accident. It was just, it was just a horrible scene. And there's a little girl involved here. Tell me, I remember vaguely, um, didn't your sister adopt a little girl? Well, actually, what happened to her? she didn't adopt her. Um, she met, Lisa met her mother, Trine, in a diversion center when she was there after burning down the house. So when she got out, her and um, Trine became really close friends. And Trine had a daughter. I think she might have been like two or three at the time. But Lisa pretty much just took the daughter under her wing. You know, she just loved the heck out of her. And so she was going to adopt her, but she never did. But, you know, she pretty much took her and her mom under her wing where, you know, um, the daughter stayed with Lisa at times. The What's mom her name? Stayed with her, at times. The, her name is Snow. And actually, like, she was, I don't even like to call kids bad, but, oh, my gosh, she was, like, beyond bad. And I think that's why Lisa really, you know, took a liking to her, yeah. you know. But now she's, like, this beautiful angel, you know. And, you know, I even, you know, I keep in touch with her now. She comes to me um, when I have events. You know, she works as my assistant sometimes, so. You know, I really appreciate you coming up here. And I know that this is not an easy thing for the family to do. You guys have been, you've been pretty close-lipped about most. Yes, uh, for uh, 10 things. years. And this is an exclusive. You've not talked on the radio about this. So I appreciate no. you you coming up here and doing this on my show in the midday as well. Um, what else does the family want to share with the public about your sister's memory? What was not shown at the family just has been driving home saying, I really wish people knew this about Left Eye? Lisa was not selfish. At all. And the stuff she did and the reason why she did stuff was always to better the group. Like when she did the challenge with the three albums, it was so they can get out of the contract early. You know what I mean? Put out three albums at one time, boom, you get out the contract. You know, it wasn't like something to, you know, start a fight with the girls or stuff like that. You know, stuff like that that's not shown. You know, who Lisa truly was. She was a very, very, very sweet person. Anybody that knew Lisa knows. Like, no one has anything negative to say about Lisa that knows her. So, Raindrop, we thank you so much for coming up today. Um, despite all of this going on <laughs> surrounding the movie, I think the fans will affectionately remember your sister. Um, you know, it's just the kind of thing where you just you have that friend and you're like, she was crazy, but we loved her and we sure right. miss her. And that's I think that's how everybody feels about Left Eye. And so thank you. And I hope uh, you and t Boz and Chili, the whole family can sort things out, you know, because there really is a legacy there. Yeah, there is. Number one female selling group of all time. 65 yes. million records worldwide. There's something to be said for that. If there is. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. We're V103.